This video is of a bicycle ride on Bosworth Street in San Francisco, California, USA. Starting just past Lippard Avenue and going as far as O'Shaughnessy Boulevard. In this 2,000 foot distance there are 75 feet of climb. I'm John Allen. I was riding with a forward facing camera on my helmet and a rearward facing one on the rear rack of my bicycle. This August 2017 ride is a follow-up to another in September 2014. I'm riding again with Bert Hill. Maybe. Not much. We are riding side by side in the right hand lane. Are you, all right? no, you go ahead, you know the route. Bert is riding over the shared lane markings which the city has provided. I am riding in the left tire track, as this discourages motorists from passing close in the same lane. Well, guess what? The city continues with shared lane markings in the right side of the right hand lane. We can merge left anyway. Contrary to Bert's suggestion for an earlier start for a bike lane for through travel. I get a little bit confused here and we briefly block two lanes. I've merged. How about you do it too? Yeah. But Bert is continuing to follow the line of travel which the city has indicated. I fall back into line with Bert. Vehicles now pass us on both sides. We get a close pass on the right which probably would not have happened if the bike lane ahead had started earlier. All traffic in the lane to our right turns right. We approach the intersection with Congo Street and Elk Street on a green light. After the intersection, the street narrows but there is no parking on the right. We continue past the bus stop. The bike lane line here is dashed, indicating dual use with the bus stop. Bicyclists would have to go around or wait behind a bus that is stopped. Parking spaces on the other side of the road, as I noted in the previous video, unfortunately narrow the roadway here on a right-hand curve where drivers coming from the opposite direction would also get a late view of vehicles pulling in and out of parking spaces. There is no hazard here to bicyclists from crossing and turning traffic. However, one bicyclist would not be able to pass another safely within this narrow space. Here, with a barrier, the bikeway is technically a separate path. We approach O'Shaughnessy Boulevard, which is the continuation of Bosworth Street, straight ahead and slightly to the left, as well as the street that goes off to the right. The bike lane here is dashed to facilitate merging for right turns. The bike lane ends. We ride up onto the wide sidewalk of O'Shaughnessy Boulevard, which is the best option to continue our climb.